देलाराम जरंज हाई देलाराम जरंज हाई देलाराम जरंज हाईवे इज ए हाईवे इन अफगानिस्तान नेशनल हाईवे फोर्टी नाइन ऑल्सो इट इज कॉल्ड रूट नंबर सिक्स जीरो सिक्स वाई इट इज सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया एंड वाई इट इज समथिंग दैट इज बोन टू इंडिया एंड वाई इट टेल्स द काइंड ऑफ द समथिंग दैट शुड नॉट हैपन इन अ वे दैट इट इज अ रोड दैट गिव्स टेल्स द स्टोरी ऑफ पार्टीशन ऑफ इंडिया इन सम वे इट इज समथिंग दैट नेगेटिव कंपल्सन इट हैज शोइंग द कंपल्सन ऑफ इंडिया टूवर्ड्स समथिंग दैट शुड नॉट हैप नेशनल हाईवे फोर्टी नाइन रूट नंबर सिक्स जीरो सिक्स डेलाराम जरंग हाई डेलाराम जरंग हाईवे दैट वॉज कंस्ट्रक्टेड इन मनमोहन सिंह पीरियड इन इंडिया एंड देयर हामिद करजई वॉज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ अफगानिस्तान फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सिक्स टू टू थाउजेंड नाइन डेलाराम जरंग हाईवे वॉज फॉर्म इन द निमरोज डिस्ट्रिक्ट निमरोज प्रोविंस ऑफ अफगानिस्तान that is the south province and in this province the population is like it is baluchistan people baluch people so nimrod province sparse province like uninhibited less very less populated nimrod province so delaram and jarang highway why it is important if somebody cross jarang jarang is at border of afghanistan and iran Iran has a state state province called Sistan Baluchistan so Baluchistan is in three country now it is same condition as Kurdistan okay so Baluchistan the part in Pakistan is Baluchistan province and part in Iran is Sistan Baluchistan and part in Afghanistan there is no separate province but Nimroz is the province that is the kind of baluch people they live there so three country baluchistan is there very unfortunate country which was a full fledged country earlier now they are since they are politically backward i say they don't know how to cheat people so they are in three different country very very simple very hum humble very powerful and very beautiful people baluchistan people we get to see it through the social media now they have a, a country in exile also i believe baluchistan uh, government uh, government of baluchistan or something like that the name is okay now the delaram jaran jaran highway jaran is a point in nimroz province that is border of afghanistan and pakistan from jaran there is a road that goes between afghanistan and iran from jaran jaran is southern part of the afghanistan so if you come little bit east then you will touch pakistan if you come south then you will touch sistan baluchistan province of iran so from jaran little bit if you come down then there is a highway that is a71 that takes you to zabol so zabol is a town so from jaran to zabol is very near to each other both are on the border from zabol then chabahar seaport chabahar port so it is around 644 km from zabol if you travel exact south little bit to west little bit then you will reach the indian ocean or arabian sea there it is chabahar port so from chabahar port to north is zabol in iran from zabol so that takes to national highway 95 and 99 to national highway takes someone from chabahar to zabol from zabol a71 is the route immediately around the border you will catch the zarang zarang from zarang 218 km i believe 218 km then there is a delaram both delaram and jaran they fall in nimroz province of the afghanistan very beautiful and helmand river that is actually is the saraswati river so people ask 
where is saraswati river how it is vanished so helmand river is considered as saraswati river and saraswati river still exist in afghanistan that is helmand river so helmand river flows through the nimrod very powerful region the kind of khash river and farah river they join helmand river and the helmand river it finally empties into human lake human lake so human lake is near to zawol only means zawol the town is kind of it gets water from the human lake zawol in sistan balochistan iran so it is on the boundary only human human lake with afghanistan and helmand river it means the human lake it flows through nimrod okay so delaram zarang highway 2018 km now delaram delaram one very famous ring road passes through the delaram so delaram that ring road is called national highway 1 of the afghanistan so that starts from kabul then it passes through ghazni then through the kandahar and then delaram from delaram it goes to herat and from herat then it makes a round circle goes to mazar e sharif and from mazar e sharif it comes back to kabul so one ring it makes so it is called circular road or ring road nation highway 1 so if this the idea of this road was anyway from chabahar to zabol road is there from iran from zabol to zaranj one road i believe this uh, this road chabahar to zabol part of this road road was also constructed or reconstructed by india and then anyway road is there from the zabol to zaranj from zaranj connecting the ring road one road was required so, so, so from zaranj to delaram the national highway 49 or route number 606 that was built by india now what is the hope for the india now india is eyeing on the natural resources like iron ore and those kind of thing from uzbekistan through mazar e sharif and then it will come to delaram from delaram to zaran zaran to zabol and zabol i believe there is a milak is a town in between to milak it will come to chabahar from chabahar port it will come to india so it gives a new path of trade between india iran india afghanistan and then india and central asia so new hope and i believe 2017 onwards this road is this route chabahar port was being built then this route is ready now i believe 700 around 800 million dollar uh, product that afghanistan exported to india to chabahar port in 2017 itself i believe maximum would be the dry fruits whereas india in 2018 it exported 15000 ton of wheat to afghanistan through chabahar so chabahar port is active and now it is helping india afghanistan iran and central asia to complicate through this road was constructed between 2006 and 2009 by the uh, indian kind of uh, border roadways organization bro border, border road organization bro around 300 engineers they participated in the road construction and around 70 itbp india tibetan border police they were supporting them as far as security is concerned but the local local talibani goons at that time 2000 to 2009 they disturbed it and they killed 100 200 around 200 people out there out of which two were the bro engineers and four out of itbp police so they were also killed but road was built the the uh, zaran delaram road now it is good that uh, communication trade between india and afghanistan is happening now through this road but why it is not good if i need to catch this e- ear 
then it is not required that I catch through this way. No one would suggest this. So, if we see the Central Asia and India communication, then Gilgit Baltistan is part of India as far as theoretical map is concerned. So, Gilgit Baltistan touches Badkhasan region of Afghanistan and Badkhasan region somewhere it is only 12 km wide. That's it. After that, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan comes as Central Asia. So, Uzbekistan is 12 km away from India at some point or something like that. You have to cross Amudarya. If that is the distance, then why someone from Uzbekistan would travel 1000 km more than that to Chabahar port crossing Afghanistan, Iran from Chabahar again thousands of kilometers to, to Maharashtra or Gujarat border and then from again land line, land way again to Delhi and other part of the country. Absolutely not required when Gilgit Baltistan is part of India. Now why, I mean it's, it's amazing right, home rule and democratic system in India, Indian National Congress. Miss, why when Britishers had given you Mac Durand line and MacDonald line that is between uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan, if you go to Durand line, Turkham border, there is a, on a stone, it is nicely written that this is the border of India and Afghanistan. So India is still there. If Britishers had given you, at least India is a very big country, you could have retained it. But still, after the partitioning also, you had received Gilgit Baltistan. If you had received Gilgit Baltistan region, full Kashmir, then why you lost that? Now just see the expenditure that Indian government, 2 billion dollar India has already spent in Afghanistan for building Chabahar port and road and this and that. 50% of Indian population, they sleep without having food. Two times food, more than 50% of the Indian, they do not have food. 90% do, do not have job. Unnecessarily, this much is the not only one time expenditure, $2 billion. On top of that, this much is the expenditure that is going on. Now the goods rate is going up. Now you get Afghan Kismis resin in India that is more than 600 up to 1000 rupees per kg, whereas local Kismis you get in 200 rupees per kg. Who will eat Afghan Kismis when it is 1000 rupees per kg and local Kismis, local resin is 200 rupees per kg. But the quality is far different, that is Sundargani uh, resin, that is much much more delicious to the Indian way. If it comes directly from India, I am not saying you go and attack on the Pakistan, but you should retain what you have lavishly given to Pakistan. So if you retain that, then 200 rupees, 100 rupees, 50 rupees, people would get the best quality resin in the world that is from Afghanistan. All the dry fruits in much lesser price than what we get. Indian dry fruit, that quality is not good. India is not known for the dry fruit production. And then minerals also like iron ore, whatever getting from the Uzbekistan that you can get. Miss, amazing, right? Deliberately, I am spending money in somewhere where I can keep it and spend to the Indian people. Now I am saying there is a Hathras case that has happened, some stampede happened and people died and Indian National Congress Mr. Rahul Gandhi is going there and then he is taking care of people but he never discussed about the cylinder, the job he had promised or 1 lakh rupees in someone account. No discussion. Now Maharashtra election will come. Again, same bluffing will start cutting. With these people, what I can say? Must if trade, how much trade you do when you do from Uzbekistan to Afghanistan through road and then to Iran, then full good you have to put on ship in the port, then again you unload it, then from there 
you take it to Delhi and those places. Then you take directly from Badkhasan region, enter into Jammu Kashmir and Delhi. How many people from the Jammu Kashmir and, and Haryana and Punjab, they would be employed in this kind of trade. Your full trade is happening with this Afghanistan, not only full Central Asia, if that route is open, not to that Xinjiang province in China and then to Russia. Means tons and tons of the people would be involved in this trade, so simple trade. How much employment it would generate only pleasure and happiness. This is Delaram Jaran Highway. If this is fortune for the India, then it is also a then if this this that highway is fortune for the India, then cut cut away of this highway that is through Gilgit-Baltistan is also a misfortune for India. Unlucky.